Hey guys, welcome to Plumbing with Tim. Today we are at a customer's home and coming to the rescue. Uh, they bought themselves a bidet seat uh, for the toilet and they tried putting it in themselves and it failed. So I'm here to save the day. Let's go in and check it out. Right there, uh, the parts and pieces to this uh, bidet have been taken off. I've taken them back off to redo this. Let's take a look at the attachment that we're gonna be putting in. Clear rear bidet attachment to go into your toilet. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this and we're gonna bring it over to the toilet and mount this to the bowl. Okay, that should sit down something like that. Make adjustments as we go. And we have the mounting clips right there. We're gonna take these little clips right here. I got the screw, the black piece slid up to it. And there is the nut that holds it from underneath. I'll show you. We're gonna let them sit there. And we're gonna take little nuts here and these come from underneath and catch the bottom side of that screw. Phillips head from the top. Hold on it. Don't snug it down, just set it into place. We're not going to snug that on until it's ready to go. On with the other one, Phillips head screwdriver from the top. And our little nut clip from the bottom. Like I said don't snug it down yet. Once so we're ready, we're just kind of setting this in a place that so we have kind of a template to work with right now. Brass, polished brass T is going to go to the bottom of the toilet. Now it's important the little rubber gasket that comes with that sets down with the cone shape facing upwards. I'll show you how to install that. See that? It's got the gasket in there. I'm going to go right up here to the bottom of where the water enters the toilet. Nice and easy. You don't need really a wrench on here. You don't want to break it. It's metal on plastic. Like I say, metal's going to win every single time. Just like that. It's kind of just like snug. See that? Now we have a flexible line that's going to go from this point over to the bottom of the bidet. This is our flexible line. Now you can at this time, if you wanted to, put Teflon tape around that little area right there but it's not really that necessary I've, because these flex lines have rubber gaskets up inside of there okay so the first one we're going to do is we're going to attach it to that T right there coming out from the toilet that's where our first piece is going to end up getting tight at first. This is where that other line is going to attach. See that? Right there. Remember metal to plastic. Nice and easy. And this has a rubber gasket in here so we don't really need technically to put Teflon tape on there. Nice and easy. Don't cross thread. Take your time. You're just going to hand tighten it for right now. Just like that. Next thing we want to do is we want to attach a water supply line from the shutoff valve up to the bottom of that original brass tee. At this point you can use another flexible line, but I've opted out of that and I'm going to put a poly line in there. So our connections have been made. Our original T that I showed you that goes into the bottom of the toilet. Our flexible line that comes from there up to the bidet control, as well as our new supply line. Like I said, at this point, you could opt out of a hard pipe like I put plastic in there and get another flexible line in there. And I've been informed that there's a very large gentleman that will be sitting on this, so it needs to be very secure. Right, so the premise is, is we want to take the clips of the toilet seat slide them into those slots right there just like that and you're gonna know it's at the right position when it's pushed all the way back 
and your seat is matching the front of your bowl. Nice and snug, just not too tight to break. Screws up and we're going to place them down in right over top there because if not, these things will squeeze apart, causing the seat to get loose and wobble around. We don't want that. It just pretty much holds that whole assembly in the place like that. To the toilet, make sure down here where you have your controls, you see where it says water pressure, low to high. Also, it's got different variations of nozzle selection, nozzle cleaning, women cleaning, all that stuff. We want this to be in a neutral area. We don't want to just go turning our water on at the valve and have water spray everywhere. So this is the lowest water pressure setting we have this time. Now, when we put this whole thing together, the thing was just wobbling around. When we tighten that seat down, it brought everything into a nice, tight, normal area. And this is gonna be the wand which the water is going to be coming out to. So let's go ahead and let's get the water cut onto the toilet. All right, so before you decide to get in here and start cranking this thing down or on high water pressure, I'm just letting you know there's a wand that comes out of here and it is going to shoot water at a very low pressure. So be mindful, and if you're gonna do this and test this, the customer has been nice enough to give me a big pot lid, so that way we don't shoot water all over the place. Let's give this a try. We got our shield on, so when we get shot in the eye with this, let's go ahead where we have a water pressure, and right now it's at zero, and just kind of turn it a little bit, and if you can see down through there, you're gonna watch that thing. See that? It comes out just like that. Okay, so we had this not very high pressure at all. And we're actually in the neutral zone when it comes to the nozzle selector. This area over here says it's for women cleaning. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn that over to where it would be for women. And we're going to turn this water pressure on. Remember, I got a little pot lid here. And we're just going to turn the water on a little bit. And we're going to see, okay, so it's coming out of a different area, that nozzle there. Can you see that? came out the right side that time and it has a wider spray to it as well I'm going to turn that off now we're going to go back over to where it says nozzle cleaning all the way back over to the far end now you're seeing this red backwards because uh, I'm facing the toilet now if you were sitting on the toilet you'd be able to read that and write uh, writing and stuff like that so we turn that completely over to the other end let's go ahead and see what happens with that All right, I understand what that is. It's to clean the nozzles. What it's doing is it's doing a self-cleaning the nozzle itself, to clean the nozzle. It is not the function, I don't believe, that is going to be working as the bidet feature. It's more of a cleaning for the product itself. And that is in the nozzle cleaning position. Turn this back off. We go back to the neutral right in the middle. That is where we had the original right in the middle. We're gonna turn this on just a little bit. We're gonna watch. That is more of a straight spray. And it don't take a whole lot of that water pressure. You can still see I got halfway to go. And this can be adjusted for the liking and stuff. So now, the lower I turn it down, turn it back off. Now, like I said, if you go over here to the women's cleaning part, it's a wider spray. important that you don't over tighten any of these lines okay um, when it comes to these you got metal and plastic I keep saying the metal is going to end up breaking that plastic this bidet is an attachment to your toilet it is the clear rear bidet attachment for homeowners and it mounts right like that and that was the demonstration well there you guys have it the clear rear bidet attachment for any toilet seat guys out there that are plumbing Pay attention, because if you haven't installed one of these attachment bidets at a customer's house, chances are pretty good you are going to sooner or later. They're becoming more and more popular and accepted by customers and homeowners all over the place. I guess they just like the, the more cleaner feel and stuff like that. It's not for everybody, but you're going to end up having to put one of these in. Not all of them are exactly the same kind of hookup, but they're very similar. And you saw how hard that thing squirted water up there. So be careful if you're going to have one of these to not 
use too much water pressure. That's why there's a nice little nozzle gauge to adjust it to your liking and stuff. Got any questions, please leave them down below. Until next time, it's been Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.